On the first day of Christmas, did a Batman gave to me 25 reviews of Christmas movies. <coughs> Hello? Hello, guys, Cinema Batman here. And this is episode 11 of the 25 movies of Christmas. I'm not doing that daily stuff anymore by uploading them daily because that's just kind of too much to take. And uh, today I'm going to be reviewing the animated Adam Sandler movie, Adam Sandler's Eight Crazy Nights, directed by Seth Kersley and starring Adam Sandler and Jackie Titone, who is um, Adam Sandler's wife. And despite the fact that this is a movie that takes place at Christmas, the movie focuses more on Hanukkah, which is the Jewish equivalent of Christmas. So what? Rather than waiting till December 25th to get like presents, like Catholics and Christians do, you are given these gifts over the course of eight nights. And the plot follows Davy Stone, voiced by Adam Sandler. He's sort of a drunk, low life, and he's pathetic. And he used to be a good person, you know, playing basketball for the Jewish community school until his parents died in a car accident when uh, he was 12. So ever since he's been sort of mean and cold hearted. And Adam Sandler recently got arrested for not paying his bill at a Chinese restaurant where he drank four scorpion bowls. And of course, you know, damaging sort of one of the both ice sculptures that are um, in the shape of Santa and a menorah. So, um, and when he's in court, the judge was is starting to sort of, you know, give him a bit of tough love and sort of sentencing him to jail. Whereas Adam Sandler's old like basketball coach I'm not referencing grown up called Whitey Duvall played also voiced by Adam Sandler sort of convinces the judge to make Davy do community service and the judge agrees laying down the rules that if Adam Sandler breaks the law he will go to jail for 10 years so Adam Sandler has to like put up with Whitey Duval and join a, like a basketball game like Adam Sandler's like old friend Jennifer Freeman played by Jackie Titone or or also known as Jackie Sandler that's right Adam Sandler's wife right her son has to like be watched by Y.E. because she's picking up a shift and they get into like a fight with these guys over and they decide to like play a football game where the loser has to eat this fat guy's chops flap and it's just it's kind of Adam Sandler wins and the guy who like lost gets revenge by burning down Adam Sandler's garage so Adam Sandler, like, through the course of the eight nights, has to, like, live with his old football coach. And that's where he starts to, like, be good and kind of, you know, he starts feeling, like, some feelings for everyone, just being nice. And anyway, this is a four out of five. Adam Sandler's, like, After the movie, I understand, like, I didn't really realize that was the character of Eleanor, who is Whitey's, you know, sister, stuff, is, um, played by Adam Sandler. I thought they'd get, like, some Jewish woman to do it, but I didn't really realize that was Adam Sandler. And I didn't even realize that Jackie Tatone was married to Adam Sandler. And 
he also cast the regulars like you know Kevin Nealon on Rob Schneider he always cast them and he always brings back like crew from Happy Madison to get them to do it and the songs are good the songs are catchy and this is an S this is an ultimate 4 out of 5. You can't really beat this film. So, I just think this is an excellent film. And this is one movie, despite the fact that I'm watching it over Christmas, it does give me a sense of summer feeling because I remember I was watching this, I remember this was before I had my laptop, I'm using my mum's laptop right now to record this video and on the first computer that we had yeah the sound card went missing so um during the summer I think it was a week before my school was out just for the whole summer and it was that week where um, you know the sound card kind of got fixed and I ended up like all day all day of summer watching movies and when I went to America to see my um like my family went to America with my uncle I don't know I kind of like kept watching it again and again on like this portable DVD player and I kept like it just always reminds me of America because we were like touring around Texas and stuff. I always keep watching it. Mainly because that's the only thing decent we had. I did watch Second Hand Lines, which is okay. So, anyways. So, anyways, this is a 4 out of 5. And I'm just trying to say. See you next time, and uh, Merry Christmas.